Capri, how are you? It's Monday again, another week started. How was your weekend? I hope you had a great weekend. I hope you made lots of fun activities and then had a great time with your family. Okay, you wanna sing good morning song again with me? Let's go. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, oh how do you do? Good morning to you, good morning to you. Oh, we're in our place with, with sunshiny faces. This is the way to start our new day. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then a Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Now we sing two songs. Last week it was just one, but we sang one more song days of the week. We have a seven days in a week, right? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday. And today is Monday. Yes. Yes. Another week started. So let's have a great week. And also let's have a great day. Okay. So today we are going to read another book and the book's name is And Then It Spring. The author is Julie Fogliano. Let's just start. First, you have a brown. All around you have a brown. Look, I think this book starts from the season of the fall. Then there are seeds. The boy is about to plant a seed. Look at that. Actually, maybe it's not a win. It's not a fall. I think it might have been. It might have been a spring. And a wish for rain. Look at the boy. He planted the seed, and he's waiting for the rain to come. It's sunny outside right now. And then it rains. So as he wanted to, the rain poured down, right? What did he plant? I see he planted a carrot. He planted a tomato, I think. That is good, right? And it is still brown, but a hopeful, very possible sort of brown. Ooh, look at him. He planted more than just that. I see green peas. I see carrot. I see tomato. And he can, you can tell the land is damp with water, right? And there's lots of other creatures too. There's a turtle, there's a bird, and there's even a rabbit. Right? Fun. And is that a little green? 
No, it's just a brown, sort of brown. Now he planted the vegetables and flowers. He's waiting for it to grow. And he thought that he saw some kind of green coming out of the earth. But it was just the ground, the soil, the earth, the sand. Then it is a week. So a week passed, he still comes to the field and plants some seed as well, along with other animals like a rabbit and dogs. And you worry about those little seeds. He's been keep waiting and waiting and it's not coming out yet. So he was worried. I'm sure it will come up soon, right? I hope so. And if maybe it was the birds. Oh, I was right. I think it was the fall that he planted. Now snow is coming down and uh, he thought it wasn't growing because of the birds because they might have gotten some of the seeds out of the ground. Or maybe it was the bears and all that stomping because the bears can't read signs that say things like, please do not stomp here. There are seeds and they are trying. Maybe he was worried that it's not coming out because bears keep coming and maybe taking some seeds away from the ground. And then because he cannot, the bears cannot see the sign because he kindly put the sign saying, do not stomp here, please because there's a plant growing. And then it is one more week. And after all that winter passed by, another week went by. And I wonder what the boy is doing with the, all those pots of sand in it. And the brown, still brown, has a greenish hum that you can only hear if you put your ear to the ground and close your eyes. Still, the plant has no sign of growing, so he put his ears under the ground to hear if um, he can hear any sign of growing. And look at that. There's a lot of things going on on the ground, right? There's some ants crawling, and then there's some porcupines sleep under under the ground. There's a mouse, and there's a worm, right? And I can tell the seeds are about to grow because all the seeds have a roots now under the ground. Can you see that? Under the ground, there's some roots. Right? I see peas, I see tomato, I see lettuce, and I think she, he even planted a sunflower and a carrot. Let's see what happens. And then it is one more week. Another week passed. It takes a very long time, isn't it? But that's how the plant is. You cannot grow overnight. You need to take a good care of it. You need the sun, you need the water, and you need the soil. And he even put the swing on it so he can spend some time there while waiting for plant to grow. And a sunny day, that sunny day, 
that happens right after that rainy day. See, they had another rain app, and then now it's very sunny outside. And everyone's kind of exhausted, is waiting for it. The dog's sleeping on a crate, and everyone's waiting patiently. And you walk outside to check on that all that brown. Now time passed and he wanted to come out of the house to check if there's any sign of growing on the plant. Let's see what happens. Do you think maybe some plants grew? Maybe, maybe not. But the brown isn't around and now you have a green. All around you have a green. Look at it, please. Look. The fields are all green. And I see these plants where he put the seeds in have a little bit of greens coming out, right? I think it's growing. How exciting is that, right? Fun, fun. And I think it's just spring now because it's getting green and it's growing. The end. Was that fun? I think so. I know planting needs a lot of patience. You grow it. You put the seeds in. You pat it down so you can grow under the ground. And you need the sun, you need the rain, and you need the soil. So now, the plant had enough water, enough sun, and enough soil. They will be able to grow taller. And then by the time it grew, it's just spring, where all the greens come out. There's a plant, there's a grass, and even the trees have the leaves now. What a fun story was that. Did you like that at all? I did. I hope you enjoyed this story and I hope you're starting your week really well. And I hope to see you tomorrow again. And have a nice week. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.